Welcome back to another episode. My name is Benji and I'm here at Save on Tackle with Anthony. Anthony runs Save on Tackle. Uh, be sure to check out the previous videos that I've done at Save on Tackle, but they got everything you could ever want. Today we're gonna to be talking about trout fishing. The last video that we did, we showed you different setups, a couple of different reels and a couple of different rods. If you're just starting out and don't know where to go, uh, right now is the time to trout fish, guys. How, how long do we have for the trout season? Uh, well, for the local stuff, it'll go through the spring and then the Sierras will open up and people will be able to start traveling back up there a little bit more for some of those uh, lakes up there. So today I want to talk about three or four of the best ways to rig up for trout fishing. So Anthony's going to share his knowledge and his expertise. And so we're going to start off with, I think the mini jigs with the mini jigs. So, yeah. Yep. Mini jigs have definitely become one of the Southern California classic ways of catching a fish. I mean, it's you go any lake where they're catching trout, somebody's throwing a mini jig. There's nothing special. I like the 130 seconds. They cast well, they cut through the wind, they get you some distance, but they don't have a super fast sink rate, so you can still fish them, you know, pretty moderately if the trout are up high. One of my favorite brands, Ultralight Heavyweights. I mean, there's there's a bunch of really good brands out there. Um, this is one that I fish. He makes some incredible custom colors. You know, whether you're fishing, you know, something bright or something natural. One of the ways you just cast out, you give it a, you count down to a certain depth, let it sink down slowly, and then just start twitching the rod. It's a lot of twitching and just slow winding. And you want to let that jig get a foot, two feet, sometimes three feet or more down below the surface and just slowly bounce that back in like a little minnow struggling to swim back towards the shore. And, and those trout, they, they love it. It's definitely a great technique. Colors, we usually pick colors based on the lake we're fishing, you know. Um, we have all this rain, so some of our local lakes are going to be dirtier than normal. So where a natural color may have worked better, we might be going to a much brighter color, like a white or that first color I showed you where there's, uh, you know, that bright orange with a little bit of mint on it. You know, just something, something like that that stands out in that murky water. And if you're fishing somewhere with nice, clean, clear water, go with something a little more subtle, a little more natural, maybe something with a little more sparkle and less solid colors to it. Or go like a brown or something where they would see like a baby bluegill, baby bass, or whatever those trout adapt to in that specific lake. If you're having trouble casting with the wind or you're just getting into it and you haven't quite figured out how to get those mini jigs out there as far as some of those guys, um, a cool little trick is putting a little rattle pair bobber on there. Those things rattle so you get the attention with that but they have those beads in there so you get some good distance on the cast and then you just work that back in and uh, put your mini jig three four feet below that if you can go further go further but three four feet usually gets you bit cast it out there get, let it sink down and then just start working that in like you're fishing a mini jig very very easy and very effective yeah so I'm I'm super new to the trout game um, and I fished a lot for trout when I was a kid and I'm just getting into it this season and so uh, mini jigs have definitely I didn't even know what it was really and so um, it's been my preferred method of trying to get bites with it and it's just super fun um, in my opinion it might be the funnest way to get these trout to bite and so um, really cool option right there yep and then what do we got for option number two perfect so the Carolina rig is again just like in you know some other other areas that we fish like the surf the Carolina rig is a, is a great technique for for dragging baits low to the bottom uh, you can do low and slow you can speed bounce it on the bottom you can do a lot of stuff so if the trout are being aggressive a little faster wind or if they're not nice and slow winds with trout oftentimes it's getting in the zone and then letting the bait sit there so what you can do is uh, you know your Carolina rig I like using the bullet weights you know they don't get hung up as much they've got put the, the cone towards you cast it out there and then just slow drag it you're going to change the length of your leader again based on the clarity of the lake some dirty water lakes we want it nice and short get that bait closer to the bottom where the trout are going to be hugging because it's cleaner um, on clear water lakes you can let it float up a little bit higher and that's the trout they're going to be able to see it even if they're cruising the bottom you know just some regular bullet weights the 1 16th all the way up again a half ounce um, sometimes at some of these lakes those trout are in there they're acclimating and they're out deeper you can definitely uh, bomb cast out there with a half ounce and, and get in that zone uh, nothing fancy on the swivels we're catching trout we don't have to overthink it um, just some Danielson swivels are are affordable they're great for the box and they work well for the saint for the hooks that there's a few different style hooks I'm a huge fan of the mosquito hooks for the the plastic baits that we throw and then you know the mustads give us a great affordable option for some treble hooks for our power bait 
you know, I picked out a couple different power baits. You just roll that stuff up in a ball. Uh, oftentimes more like a little log, so imitate like a maggot or, or a mealworm or something like that. Put it on the treble hook and cast it out there. The other ones that work well on a, on a Carolina rig are uh, the little power worms or the mouse tails. Mouse tails are great because they float really well. You could get away with a little bigger hook um, and that thing's still going to float up there. These are a little bit more finesse, a smaller hook. Light line presentation works well, um, but they're both very effective. So that's, I use a J hook for the plastics, treble hook for the power bait. And then again, on the Carolina rig, you can slow drag it with your rod, or you can give it long pauses and let that worm float up or let the power bait float up and kind of just bait and wait too. Cool. So it sounds like um, the Carolina rig is going to be pretty standard along with small adjustments along the way, yep. whether that be with the weight and the leader length um, and the hooks and whether it be power bait, mouse tails, or whatever else, just small adjustments, trying to figure out what they're biting that day. They, they can be a little bit finicky sometimes. Exactly. So, um, and then Anthony, um, I think this can apply for mini jigging too, but what pound leader, what pound test are we generally fishing with when we're going for trout? So on the mini jigs and stuff, I like using two pounds, sometimes four, but mostly two pound on that stuff. Um, get that distance in your cast. On the, uh, the power bait and the mice tails and all that, the bait and weight game, you can definitely go heavier, four pound. Uh, some brands make five pound in the fluorocarbon that guys like using. Some of the guys use six pound, but I think you notice a, a definitely a, a reduced amount of bites on there, unless it's dirty water and they're eating that power bait really good. All right, so these two methods, uh, <coughs> mini jigging and then the Carolina rig, probably the two most popular uh, ways of catching trout, I yep. would say. Um, and then there's also a third, third way so Anthony why don't you talk about that for us uh, using minnows or bigger baits I mean there's a lot of other techniques you know these are just three of our, our most common that we get asked for here at the shop minnows you know there's a few different ways to fit the fish the minnows drop shotting them is a great technique if you're not familiar with it and you want somebody to teach you how to tie them up feel free to come in we do offer that we'll tie it we'll show you guys how to tie it all up no problem when I fish the, the drop shot on my minnows, I like fishing two different colors, one up, one down low, one up high, and just sit there and you're just twitching and slow winding. You know, sometimes you can twitch and let them sink out a little bit, flutter down, and then go back to slow winding um, and twitch them back up. So just think about going to your local pet store and seeing a dying fish in the fish tank. That's what we want these things to imitate is one of those fish struggling there. Um, but just getting these baits to imitate that is great. And then, uh, if you're fishing with your buddy, don't try to set up the same way. This is the best piece of advice I can give you. I mean, me and my buddies that when we go, we're constantly asking each other, what are you using? What are you using? And, and we're not asking that because we want to tie the same bait on. We're asking that because we want to make sure we don't have the same bait on. And then we try to figure out what the pattern is. So, you know, if Benji's coming with me, I'm going to ask him what he's using. If he's using a bright, I'm going to go with a dark or a natural or something different. And then if I'm catching one or two fish, Benji, hey, switch over. Or if Benji's catching one or two fish, hey, what are you using? Let me switch over. And then try to you know, tag team them and keep that school there. If you keep them going and keep them active, you'll keep that school there. And sometimes it turns into more bites. So definitely let your friends know if they're fishing with you. The cool thing with the minnows, you have that drop shot technique. You can also use you know, top notch. They, they have some great lead heads. There's a bunch of other lead heads out there as well. But definitely a great lead head option. Um, they have a great fall to them, the way they shimmy down on the fall. Very enticing for a trout. So I usually pair up one of my minnows with a lead head like that, cast it out, let it shimmer down. Uh, just, a, just a great option. Uh, the little bull shot, I like using those for my drop shot. Um, it's hard to find some really small drop shots sometimes. So I just put those on, pinch them on, and if it gets stuck in something, they usually slide right off or break the line. And I get my minnow and my hook back so I could just pinch another one on and go back to work. That's good. So um, we got, again, the mini jigging, the Carolina rig, and then we have the drop shot jig head option. Um, the jig head also, if you just want to get the little tubes and to mini jig with, that's the other option too. These ones, yep. these uh, ultralight heavyweights look like they come with the- The jig heads are already in them, yep. Right, so, um, but yeah, those are three, Pretty much a three ways that people are getting them other than with like night crawlers and things like that yeah right? night crawlers live bait cast master spoons you know that's something we touched on but definitely for more of the the consistent stuff for our local lakes i feel like this is the a really good assortment of techniques so awesome so i'll go ahead and detail each of these three techniques that um, anthony has talked about and i'll put them down in the description and then also if you have any more questions you know what i'm going to say Get on down to Save on Tackle and keep on learning. They've got a great staff here um, and they, they'll all be able to help you out. Um, and Anthony's definitely one to talk to. So um, again, I hope you find this helpful. I'm gonna say it 
all the time in my videos, it's all about just getting you out onto the water and catching fish. And especially if you're just thinking about it and you don't know where to start, that's where I really want it to be helpful for you guys. And so thanks so much for tuning in here. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And other than that, I hope to see you out there. Thanks so much, guys. Tie lines.